Jay Norvell, what an idiot. Or not. This is Locked On Big 12. You are Locked On Big 12, your daily podcast on the Big 12 Conference. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Emergency podcast, emergency podcast. I'm Drake Toll from ESPN Central Texas. Deion Sanders is a lively character, always has been. Played in a baseball game and a football game in the same day. Now he's the head coach of Colorado. Thanks for making Locked On Big 12 your first listen every single day. This week, Jay Norvell, the Colorado State head coach, comes out and said, anytime, like real, you know, kind of like a weird, like a Southern, you know, in Colorado, by the way. Like so like, anytime I walk into a room, I take my hat off my glasses off. I shake a man's hand. Because that's respect. Maybe he didn't say it like that, but that's how he said it in my head. I was like, oh, wow, geez. Hey, okay. And the whole luncheon of Colorado State, people start clapping. <laughs> like, like, they aren't Colorado State Rams fans. Um Irrelevant program, by the way. Irrelevant coach. I didn't know that Jay Norvell was the coach of Colorado State until the last 24 hours because of this event. But maybe that's smart. And I want you to bear with me for a second. If you're a Colorado fan, a Dion fan, I, I've loved Dion on the show. I, I Obviously, I've loved Colorado. I think this is great for college football, the transfer portal and everything. But Jay Norvell made headlines. And now if you Google Dion Sanders, what else comes up? Jay Norvell. What Jay Norvell just did is said Colorado is what got college game day to our house. Is what got Colorado is what got Col- Colorado is what got college game day and Fox Sports game day to a Colorado State game against Colorado. And said that nobody's talking about Colorado State. What could I do to take a little bit of attention away from Deion Sanders and put it on me? And he did it. He did it. He did it successfully. Now everybody knows the name Jay Norvell. I was watching ESPN for an hour today. Saw Jay Norvell's face five times. It worked. What he wanted to do was like a reverse Dion, and it worked. And what did Dion Sanders do? He came back at a practice and said, it was just going to be a good game, but they done messed around and made it personal. Um, Didn't you already use that line, the whole personal line? For the first time in Dion's career that I've seen, people are, in the at least the last few weeks, people are commenting on these videos from On3 or whoever and saying, Dion kind of looks like the clown here. For the first time in a while, people are not on Dion's side as much because side as much because they're like, oh wow. Dion said it was personal last week and the week before that. It's always been personal. Hmm. Weird. Is he just gonna keep using that line? Here's here's my take on this. No matter what, Dion was gonna find something in Colorado State to say, oh, they disrespected us. He was gonna go back to an interview from a month ago where they asked Jay Norvell, hey Jay, what do you think the big game you circle on your schedule is? And Jay said, Oh, I don't even know. Nevada. And then Dion's gonna come in the locker room, you know, the day before the game and be like, I went in and Jay Norvell, they they're disrespecting us. They don't think we're the biggest game of their schedule. They think it's Nevada. We're gonna show them. Dion was already going to do something like that. He was already going to play some bulletin board material where Colorado State doesn't respect Colorado, which would be stupid, but his players have bought into it, right? They're going to believe it. Now, Colorado State said, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Instead of digging and trying to find something and take it out of context, let's give you fuel. Jay Norvell waved the white flag weeks ago. He said, we're going to lose to Colorado. We're going to lose badly. But now, hmm, we're still going to lose badly, but people are talking about us. And for at least a second, Dion looks weird calling little brother Colorado State that nobody cares about saying, oh, it's personal now. Very seldom does like, like if tomorrow, right? Here's a really good example. If tomorrow the country of Norway came out and they were like, mm, we don't think America is that good of a country. And all Americans are like, oh, it's personal now. Yeah, it's personal, Norway. We're gonna we're gonna get the we're gonna get you. We're gonna get it. It would look weird. We'd just be like, oh, who cares what they said? It's Norway. <laughs> okay, I'm sure they have a good thing going for them. I don't really know if we have to concern ourselves with that, with what they think. It's Norway. No respect, no disrespect to Norway. I, I love Norway, but it's a small country. I love Colorado State. It's fine. Who cares? It's a small school that doesn't. What are we troubling ourselves with? Oh yeah, boys. You see what they said about us, Colorado State. The disrespect. You already know you're going to win. Everybody knows you're going to win. But now, Colorado State's in Dion's head. This is just a marketing scheme, and no publicity is bad publicity. Jay Norvell knows that. What he did is he took the entire Dion narrative, flipped it around to himself. It's going to be the lead story on college game day and Fox Sports game day. Kickoff, whatever they call it. Big noon. Genius. I know you might hate it if you're a Colorado fan or a Dion supporter, but it's genius. Jay Norvell just took the spotlight and put it on him. 
Now Colorado State is getting more publicity than they were getting before. So guess what, Deion Sanders? You fell right into Jay Norvell's trap. Now you look silly being the guy who's coming out to trash back, talk back to Colorado State. That looks silly. Oh, it's personal now. Against Colorado State? What are you concerning yourself with Colorado State, man? Give it up. Save this narrative for a big game. Either die a hero or live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Stop creating a narrative around everything. When Colorado State comes and tries to poke the bear and pick at you and make you respond, the best way to, to do just don't respond. Don't be the asshat at the very end who's like, yeah, 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 you, yeah we're going to get you, Colorado State. You're disrespectful. Who cares? Now, Dion popping off to Jay Norvell. Everybody's saying Jay Norvell's an idiot. He did exactly what he wanted to. He knew what he was doing, and he won. He won. He won this battle. He did. Uh, also, I think he's right. Take your sunglasses off. Take your hat off. Shake a man's hand. It's a respect thing. I grew up in Valonia, Arkansas, population 3,000. We would take our glasses and our hat off, and you walked into a room, you shake a man's hand. Hmm? I don't think he was ever. The content of his conversation, the content of his comments is not really what he wanted. He just wanted to piss off Dion. Knowing he's already going to lose this game, he was going to lose by 31. Now he's going to lose by 41. He doesn't care as long as you're talking about the name Jay Norvell and Colorado State, which I wasn't talking about, and neither were you. Now you are. Genius. Yes. Watch the show. Uh, Locked on Big 12. Subscribe or whatever. Or don't. I don't know. Up to you. It'd be kind of cool, though. Locked on. Thanks for making it your first listen every single day. Dos grandes.